starting now. So we're starting with the uh, with the grower of uh, of Span Vineyards uh, Chardonnay Vineyards. Can you tell me the your name and the name of your vineyard? Uh, my name is Kony Gustafsson. Uh, Gustafsson, Swedish, son of Gustav, and uh, it's just uh, Gustafsson Estates Vineyard. And what kind of grapes do you grow? Uh, Chardonnay. What clones do you prefer? Uh, well, this is clone four here, mm -hmm. and uh, that's just the one that San Giacomo recommended. San Giacomo, mm -hmm. our neighbor here, they're probably the largest grower in, in Sonoma County. I think they're one of the best? Yeah, one of the best. They, they, uh, they grow fruit for almost 60 different wineries. Absolutely. So, Some so of the best Chardonnays I've tasted in California have come from there. Yes. So, of course, I talked to them, and, and that's what they recommend. Do you feel you have a similar climate and a similar soil as they have? Uh, I think we do. This is Carneros right here, and uh, mm -hmm. as you know, uh, eight of a mile away, you can have a different climate. But we that's have, true. We have very rich soil here, and uh, that's why I've also been able not to water in about, I think, seven years. I, uh, I personally find that uh, just the, uh, the block across the... Uh, the driveway here has uh, very different flavors yeah. <laughs> than the same clone on the other side. Yeah, and uh, it's a little cooler over there, less, mm -hmm. a little more shade. So we are probably about four to five days behind. Okay. When it comes to uh, when Betsy come and check the sugar, we're usually behind. So, mm -hmm. But, you know, so you can vary within 50 feet uh, microclimates, you know, in this oh, yeah. area. So, anyway. Absolutely. So, um, being in the um, in the horticulture or being in the landscaping business, yeah. uh, you know a lot about soil, and I assume you know a lot about uh, all the plants. So, yeah. what do you what do you think special about this uh, piece of land? Well, I mean, this was before underwater. You know, this whole area. So we ah, have, okay. We have uh, you know uh, good good soil, mm -hmm. especially through here. Carneros is supposed to be better than if you go like half a mile north. The soil condition changes a lot, and probably even closer than that. But uh, um, I don't fertilize, no mm -hmm. fertilization. I've never fertilized this, the, the ground here, and I think uh, that's something that I think they do too much. You know, fertilizing oh, okay. and water. I mean, if you look in Europe, some of the best fruit was grown dry farming mm -hmm. and fertilization. Absolutely. So, but I think uh, California they got caught up with, with quantity. Mm -hmm. instead of quality. So everybody wanted to 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 get as much as mm -hmm. they could out of the vineyard, so they fertilized the hell out of it and watered. I would certainly call the Chardonnay from this vineyard very uh, food-friendly and very European in style. Yeah. I've had a great time uh, drinking this wine with uh, everything from Indian food to uh, very down-home wine country food, yeah. and uh, it seems to work for everything. So the acidity is very nice and uh, but plenty of flavor. These are, grapes sure have a lot of uh, a lot of flavors that jump out of you when you actually taste the grapes. Right. And uh, when you decide to harvest, what are your main factors? Well, actually, I leave that up to uh, to uh, the winemaker. Mm -hmm. You know, Betsy comes on a regular basis and check it from day to day, basically hours to hours. You know, and when she feels like it's ready, that's when it gets harvested. So uh, the winemaker today decide that 100% when the fruit is going to be picked. So, anyway. All right, perfect. Thank you so much. All Thank right. you very much. Okay.